All right, all right. Blitz World Series action coming at you here in the Pro Division. We got Luke, the Jedi in yellow, fighting out of America on the left. We got Quas out of Jordan, the Death Robot in red on the right. Uh, Quas, of course, our third place finisher from last month's tournament. Uh, very close game with Kian to get into the championship. And then he beat Marco the Goat in the third and fourth place game. I think every month Quas has just kind of gotten better and better. Obviously, one of the strong, one of the strongest traditional players in the world. So in Blitz, month after month, he's gotten a little bit better. And finally, last month, uh, knocking the Goat out, uh, taking home that third place title. Very, very impressive. Certainly has proven himself. And you got to think Luke a little bit scared here. But Luke's been playing some great blitz, and he's been playing this map a ton. Uh, so this is uh, Quas's first game this month. Luke's already on a few wins. Snark, how are you feeling? Who's taking this one home? Well, I don't know, man. I mean, Quas taking out the goats. You got to be rooting for him, and well, you got to be assuming that he's gonna win. But Luke has gotten some serious reps on this map, and I mean serious, serious reps. And he, he always has a plan. He always has a strategy, you know, whether it's uh, he always finds something to abuse, whether it's a rush or whatever. And uh, you can never, ever count Luke out. But Quas going downfield. Oh, oh. Quas going to oh. retreat here. Defend his base from Luke's counter push here down the center. But he leaves one rider. Look yeah. at that. He leaves one rider. And that's only what Quas, like, he could only automatically split, leave, you know. Just so good. Is he going to dive here? No, he's going to have Oh, to it needs to be here. careful. We are going to see. So this is kind of what we saw early on with this map, this early focus right in the middle, and it just comes down to t clicking tanks, clicking tanks, fodder, uh, tank control here, and Luke does fall behind because Quas is a death robot. Scary engagement here for Luke. I like the idea better from Luke, where he was trying to, like, play on the top side, try to throw Quas off, maybe try to get value downfield, maybe just go right for the MCV down the gut. Um, but instead, he chose to go toe-for-toe -toe with, with Quas. Um, it's very, very scary. I mean, in traditional Rhino Wars, Quas is leagues ahead of Luke. Um, I don't think that was the right engagement for Luke. Yeah, it was very, very close. Quas just did a better job at microing and clicking those tanks, like you said, and he won that engagement. And yeah, I put Luke behind on power. Now, he was already noticing that he was going to lose the power plants. He had power plants out, so he hasn't been low power for a long time. But Quas's army just looking so Luke. much bigger than Luke's right now. Look at this split out of Quas. Leaves Rhinos behind to defend. Goes in on yeah. the offensive. Just so good. He's going to die for the MCV, but what is he going to lose on the backside? The MCV of Quas is going to go down. So nice value out of Luke, but Luke loses his MCV as well on the backside. Doesn't really get the cell there. Loses a war factory. So now Quas on three war factories. Luke only on one. Loses his barracks. Yeah, no, this is GG. You're not facing down three war factories and a barracks versus just one war factory. Yep, 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 yeah. And uh, that was a good cut. I mean, so for Luke, I, I, I think whenever Soviet versus Soviet, uh, this is so heavily in Quas's favor. This this particular faction matchup that. Um, I'm, I'm, this, I'm with Luke there, sure. Send it downfield, go for a base trade. Because if, if Quas gives you a base trade, go for it. Even though I don't think it was a good idea, obviously. Um, uh, Cause Quas just Quas ahead. attacking his own oil? Yeah, Quas. <laughs> what's the attack your own oil meta all about? Anyone know? <laughs> <laughs> all right. He takes it out. Wow, he actually destroyed his own oil. Oh, he wanted power. He wanted power, he was Whoa. low power, he wanted power. And I oh. love how quick he realized that. I would have never realized that. You know, another pro player might have realized it after 20 seconds. I would have never, but Quash just immediately takes out his own takes out his own oil. It's hilarious. That, that is so funny. Wow. Really, really nice there out of Quas. So he's, and he has this elite, he has a veteran. He's going in here, he's wiping the floor with yep. Luke's ass right now. Perfect and, tank uh, control, yeah. Oh, that yeah, hug. Hug gets, oh, hug gets a little damage nice. done. Nice. Yeah. And and uh, so Quas sold one war factory. I think he could have kept destroying oils and kept the three war factories actually. But um, well, he, well, no, actually now he has no power plant, so he can't get his power back either way. But did you see how he micro that elite away once? Luke oh clicked? my that god. That was just crazy. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. What? <laughs> this guy. This guy is just not human. He <laughs> is not. That's why he's a robot, Ivor. That is why he's a robot. Oh, that's absolutely right. Yeah, so versus so, so scary. Oh, wait, when he destroyed that oil, did he have no power plants? There was no power? No, no, he had, he, he had the tech power plant. He lost his regular power plant. So all he needed oh. was to destroy one oil to get his power back on. But then afterwards, he lost the tech power plant. So it wouldn't have mattered. He just doesn't have power. Crazier. It's, uh, you know, much more option, much more diverse. We're going to see what these players do. And I think if Luke has a chance to take a point, it's going to be here in AVA. Yep, I think that's absolutely right. I mean, as the Allied gets more involved, you have you have more uh, 
you know, traditional skills slightly fall. Well, Sylvia versus Sylvia, traditional skills, obviously, right? It's just raw Rhino skills. Even if you've never played Blitz before, um, you know, the, the, a lot of the skills transfer over. Allied, though, things start getting a little bit weird. The value with the GIs early on, uh, keeping the Eagles busy, uh, managing multiple faction bonuses. It's always interesting to see how players do it. Uh, Artie brought such an interesting Allied look. In that last series, Artie versus Zed, both players winning their Allied versus Soviet matches. We have not seen Allied... Um, Allied Verso looking very strong on this map. So GI's down to the bottom middle here for Quas. Uh, fairly expected here. Kluke had to have seen that coming, so we'll see what the counter is going to be. Well, he made an FCNR as a sniper IFV, so that is the counter. So yeah, Luke definitely uh, on point at the moment here. Quas needs to either retreat with those infantry or put them in the huts, but oh, bad take control from Quas. Luke doing a fantastic job. Quas really wants to get rid of the sniper, is having a hard time doing it. And more IFEs, GI IFEs behind this. So Luke could split those up and try to get some value here. Quas getting his own sniper IFE out. I want to see Quas just fill up those huts and keep those infantry safe over there. In the meantime, GI IFEs and Rhinos heading up the top here. Oh, and the hut goes down and the sniper comes in. Does yep. Quas have oh. enough to defend here? This Does he have enough? It looks like he does. Quas comes out on top big time. Yeah, the Grizzlies early on, those those IFVs, uh, yeah, a bit, a bit, yeah, interesting. Now the GI is pushing in for Quas as Luke goes totally broke. Uh, the Rockies, the Eagles, doesn't really have the money for this. Trying to dive on that IFV, going to lose both Rockies. Uh, and Quas just rolling through. Um, yeah, yeah, Quas is, uh, Quas is just so tough. Do we have Latov in here? Latov, are you in here? Can we get a Latov versus Quas? I feel like this one's gonna be going down quick. I don't think, I don't think Luke has what it takes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Quas taking out the goat last one. I know, I know Marco's coming from this month. I know that Marco's gonna go back to being the goat this month easily, but still a very impressive showing. And uh, damn, Quas just like we haven't seen him all month. You know, everyone's been getting games, grinding. Getting show matches, Quas comes in, first game faces Luke, one of the best contenders this month, and holy shit, he is just looking so powerful, Ivor. How do, how do you do that? I don't know. I, I yeah, Quas. I know. I, I can't really. I mean, I can't really figure out look, a few. Look, look, he's alting. <laughs> he's alting Quas's barracks because he lost his FC. Now Quas not shooting down those eagles because he doesn't want to lose the barracks. Now he's alting the FC, and the FC goes down. <laughs> Luke's <laughs> wow. We'll give Luke, Luke half a point really for that. Nice. Luke gets half a point for that one. That was really nice out of Luke. And and yeah, you know, I kept talking, but all of a sudden, you know, Luke is still in this. He's bringing in the GIs. He's, he's bringing in an army here. Now, there is a sniper IFV for Qua, so it's not going to be super good. He's going to have to push quickly and try to get value as these GIs start going down. And now Quas's own GI is coming to position. Quas needs to move his uh, sniper IFV a little bit closer, but Quas successfully out. defends. Oh, an elite IFV. Ooh. Yep, 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 yep. Um, pretty tough position here for old Luke. Uh, tough in the way that possibly insurmountable. Um, gonna be gonna be a hard one. Absolutely, that elite IFV going up top doing work while sending the Grizzlies downfield right in the center. An Eagle is gonna try and chase down this elite IFV. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Quas really good micro, and the elite yep, IFV survives. It. Yeah. Uh, you need two shots to take out an elite IFV, not one. Uh, now Patriots coming out for Quas. Eagles out for both players, but Quas has the uh, the Grizzly numbers right now. Ivor, and he has an elite IFV, and he has the Rocky numbers. Quas could just push here, yeah. Ooh, the elite goes down. The elite does go down, so nice move out of Luke there. But Quas has triple War Factories versus one War Factories. Quas is going to go in here, but the power drop is right here. He needs to Paradrop avoid coming. those GIs. Here comes the Rocketeers as well to support, but a Patriot comes out just in time, but Quas is behind enemy lines. The Grizzlies are melting, and it looks like Quas is going to come out on top of this engagement, just out tanking and out maneuvering Luke just so successfully. <clears throat> AFC goes down. MCV goes down. Wow. And Luke goes down. Qu uh, yeah, Luke's been playing so good this month. We haven't seen Quas yet. I really thought... I really thought Luke might be able to put up a fight here. Quas is a... Uh, it's just so weird at the top level that, that how how much difference there can be between these guys. Quash just looking so so ahead right now. Um, he's so powerful, Ivor. He's so powerful. He just comes in. How does he? Wow, wow. Like you know, we haven't seen him all month, and he's just coming in here and wrecking one of the most successful players on this map this month. That's that's just crazy.
Hassan, buddy, look, you've been on 12 points. You won three the other day, you won nine today. You've been on 12 for about 30 minutes now, okay? You're on 12, Hassan. They're right there, okay? No one's taking them away from you. Take away another one. This is why we can't, this is why we can't have nice things, man. This is why we can't have nice things. All right, so uh, Quas, so Quas wants allied here, or Quas maybe just, oh, Luke is at you. So Luke gonna go Sylvie here. Luke down 2-0. Um, Luke down 2-0. Yeah, Sylvie versus Allo. See if he can get one on the board here. Try to stay alive. Um, trying to see if we can get a... Um, we got to get... We need to get Latov in here versus Quas right now. That's what's amazing is that Quas dismantling Luke. It's possible that Latov dismantles Quas. It's crazy, like, how Quas could... Like, it's like, how could Quas ever lose right now, you know? And then last month, he took third place. Right now, it's like, how could you get better? It's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, yeah absolutely insane. Luke switching to Soviet... His favorite faction versus Allied, obviously, and uh, we've seen how successful Soviet has been on this map. Although, Zed versus Artie giving us a bit of a new look about that. Uh, every time, they, they, they prove us wrong, right? Oh no, this faction's OP. No, but then this faction starts winning, but then... ah. Oh. Wow, we haven't had one of those in a while. Yeah, happens once in a while. That's on the right. Yeah, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Reconnection, yeah, we never have those anymore. Yeah, very interesting. All right. <clears throat> yeah, Quas hacking confirmed. <laughs> <Zed>. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Yeah, I think it's so funny, like, um, it's one of those things where something is impossible. Like, I mean, for so long in Blitz, it was impossible to win with Allied, right? And then all of a sudden, like, the GI rush comes. Then it's, like, that one month on Brute, Allied was so OP, right? And then all of a sudden, then it goes back. And the metas just keep shifting. And that's why I think, you know, as soon as something comes out that's OP, it's so tempted to be like, oh, this is OP, it's broken. And it's like, well, it's OP for now. But, I mean, imagine the, the days before the Deso Bomb. Like, there was days before the Deso Bomb. And someone came up with that strategy, you know? So uh, it's so interesting that we have a game this old, and yet there's still kind of new tactics and new strategies, specifically map to map uh, in Blitz as well. Obviously, there's you know weird components to consider but it's been it definitely been interesting to watch the allied versus soviet arguments throughout the time of blitz and it's fun that this month now towards the end of the month allied uh allied finally coming out and kind of hanging and banging here because they struggled on this month uh this map early on allied had a hard time yeah well let's see if quas could pull it off as well i mean facing luke soviet on this map you know is very very hard as the allied player gi is coming out for quas now luke heading downfield to the bottom he wants to get that power plant that's gonna be a huge hit for him if he man ma successfully gets that a lot of dogs out here to counter the gi's is it enough and he's still targeting the power plant he needs to be careful oh. okay does retreat now he wants he's just he just Ooh, wants he... the power plant he, he's it's this is so risky he's gonna eat again he's gonna eat oh shots again oh my god yeah it didn't work yeah that is unfortunate the micro out of quas they're just going in while he's targeting the building staying in perfect distance just a fantastic defense out of quas there and quas successfully defends the tech power plant such a crucial important thing to do and very hard to do as the allied player so amazing tank control there out of quas uh, Luke now on six oil, so his eco is good. Quas getting his AFC out. We're gonna see the War Factory spam, I assume, out of Quas very soon. And uh, look the way he built his oils. Both of both players, the way they're building yep. is right, Close <laughs> right <enough>. on the <laughs> beach there. <laughs> yep, I was like, I was like, yeah, I can scatter the rocks. So what's the worst that could happen? People literally, they'll do, they'll do every single thing you let them do. Uh, so now the prism tower to counter the sentry gun. And I was just about to say that Luke's sentry guns were a good idea. Now there's a prism tower. Now they're not a good idea. Um, Quas just, uh, Quas just a few steps ahead of everyone. Yeah. But Quas oh, is but broke. Oh, Quas. Yeah. Quas is broke. Straight Grizzlies on Rhinos. But he is the death robot. He is the death robot. Luke now bringing his reinforcements a little late to the party. We'll see if Luke can keep the pressure on here with these Rhinos. Now a top war factory to bring the Rhinos right over. So now being reinforced faster. Nice defensive eagles from Quas to slow those Rhinos down. Quas and Luke can... Oh, and now a Prism Tower. I'd wow. like to see... Yeah, I'd like to see Luke push right through this opening here and keep the pressure on. Now some dogs joining the fight here. This is the window of opportunity for Luke. If he can get Quas to engage him straight, Rhinos on Grizzlies picks one off there. Eagles out again, and Quas going to go downfield with these Eagles. Pillbox from Quas. Now Quas bringing his own fodder in. Luke should be able to win this engagement. Yeah, Luke is definitely going to win this engagement big time, and Quas has nothing behind this. This could be the end of it. Quas was doing such a fantastic job defending top, defending bottom, but Luke being very clever and going to where Quas isn't. 
Quas desperately trying to defend, loses the AFC, loses the War Factory, and the GIs move into a really good position here, getting great value on those Rhinos, but is it enough as Luke backs out, but Luke already on three War Factories, now controlling the center. Lightning does hit him a little bit, but he's going to get all these crates, which is going to boost his economy and the speed of his Rhinos. So Quas might be in big trouble here. GGI is moving into position to defend this and yeah Quas is gonna be hard pressed to defend this Lucas just get, can just roll through here this is a yeah it's a blunder it's a blunderable position for Luke here uh with this amount of infantry and this amount of pillbox especially against a player like Quas it's it's definitely blunderable and, and staying in range of those infantry is how it all starts the elite rhino will certainly oh, but help an elite rhino oh, I like yeah, it that's... love this Luke edging behind getting away from those pillboxes as much as possible yeah Luke now not reinforcing as quick as possible he could join some fodder into this fight Luke on 10k now and you got a feel for Luke right now you got you got the death Death robot on the ropes, but it's so scary against a player like this because you know he's not going to roll over and die. As soon as you make a mistake, he's going to pounce on you. Prism Tower on the top side, Luke's going to dive on that, try to open up that top set, uh, area. Now the dog's coming for Luke. Uh, going to dive on that machine shop, does get it, and Luke just having a hard time making this calculation. Does he push? Does he pull back? Uh, he wants to get as much value if he, as he can if he's ahead, but Quas making it as hard as possible, spamming these pillboxes, and what a hold from Quas. Can he survive this next wave? Yeah, I don't know, it, but the problem is he's got six, five war factories behind this. You know, there's no way Quas can keep up with these tank numbers. Yeah. You know, the infantry is great, the pillboxes are great, but five war factory Soviet? Good luck. Good luck keeping up with that. And yeah, like you said, he's got the death robot on the ropes. It is blunderable, but all he has to do is not blunder, and Luke usually does not blunder. Snipers coming out to counter these desolators. Really nice. Quas still on his toes, somehow surviving this. Problem is, Luke behind this has an entire army yeah. back in his base. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, Qua, yeah. yeah, I mean, Quas is in big, big trouble here. Yep, incredible defense. Actually, a master class in defense. You guys are wondering how to defend your base. Watch this one from Quas, because it was really beautiful the way he used his infantry, used the pillboxes. But ultimately, no offensive value behind, and now the now the snipers to handle the des uh, to handle the desolators, but no offensive value here for Quas, right? So staying alive is good, but um, unfortunately in this position was just too far behind on the back end, and Quas does quit out. Luke puts one on the board. But against a player like Quas, it's so scary because you have to get the big move. You got to land the big punch. Then you got to land three more. You got to stop his counter. You got to make nine more good decisions, and you might even need a bit of luck because he's the death robot. So Luke, very very impressive. The Jedi using the force there, zoning in, very technical maneuver there um, at the end, just kind of squeezing him out, avoiding those infantry and pillboxes. Uh, really really good job, and keeping up with his macro on the back end. A lot of players, you know, sometimes they get so focused on that attack they fall behind. But ultimately, Luke got those war factories up and just kept the storm coming. And some exciting news for you guys in the chat. Latov, the Deso King, is here and ready to play. So, Quas versus Latov right after this. But first, Luke has to give us a barn burner. What do you think against Quas's Soviet snark? Is it possible? I mean, Luke is, the, is also a god. His allied versus Soviet. Quas is going to go right down the center here, but that means he's going to leave his power plants completely exposed. Luke is going to be able to go back and defend this easily, and that means that his GIs can take out the power plant. Oh. That's going to put Quas on the back foot and oh. give him the advantage that he needs. Oh, oh, bringing him to the GIs. Both players making, both players with a with a kind of a bit of a mistake there. Okay, so now the GIs can take the power plant. The Grizzlies can go back to defend the perfect pillbox. Oh, and, he's ulting, and Quas, he's ulting. Quas ulting the War Factory. Oh, oh, he doesn't get it! He doesn't oh. get it! Oh, he gets it! <laughs> oh, and he's lucky he did because Luke right now on the field with a four tank advantage, four to two, oh, now four to two Rhinos. The, then they got the power plant, so now Quas is low power, I think. And, and Luke's gonna push in here. He wants this early value. He knows that as soon as Quas gets comfortable, he's gonna be in trouble. Love the aggression here from Luke. Pushing right in, grabs an oil, gets another oil. <laughs> Oh, oh that's huge! Bunker. And the bunker goes down. He has two elite GGI, uh, G, sorry, two elite GIs in here. This is huge for Luke. And Luke gets his War Factory back up. Quas needs to defend Luke's, this. The Luke's GI gonna deployed. send it. War Factory is gonna go down. Oh my God! The War, War Factory is gonna go down. Luke's gonna send oh it downfield, right? Luke, oh, my oh, the sentry God. gun. And now Luke, very comfortable to pull back and defend here. I think he's absolutely giddy. What? Wow. Wow, so Quas with that early alt getting that War Factory from Luke, but Lou getting the power plant and kept pushing with the GIs, getting two oils oh and my a War God. Factory. Holy shit, Quas is way behind right now, way, way behind. He's going to need a miracle to get any yep. value versus Luke right now. And Luke just has to be careful, has to keep an eye on these tanks, doesn't want Quas to get down the gut and get a lucky M MCV snipe, which we have ha seen happen even at the top level. I want to see Luke pull his yeah, fodder away from that oil. And, uh, and this would just be an insane comeback if Quas can pull this one out. And Luke, 
Oh, oh, and okay, all right, the fodder. And Luke, you see Luke just, I mean, you know he's shaking, right? You know he's just shaking right now. Like, like he knows he's ahead, but Quas now on two war factories. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, Quas will catch Quas is gonna catch up on the take numbers. And if he gets this power plant, he's gonna get the counter punch he needs. The Eagle's coming at five Eagles. Oh no, the oil is right next to the war oh, factories. Oh, he gets the, oh, and Quas does Luke a huge favor. But Quas's rhino numbers are already, already scary right now. And Luke does lose a power plant. And Luke just gives up that power plant. He's got two AFCs. He's trying to play a slow game right now. He just wants to slow down these Rhinos. He wants to get his value with his Eagles. I don't hate that idea, but it does scare me as Luke goes broke. Now he's not going to have pillbox support if Quas comes in, but Quas gets his fodder out of position. Quas now with no fodder, and these crates could be very nice. Luke is broke. If Luke if Luke can uh, double hit a crate to get a money crate here would be really nice, but he spreads his tanks out so he gets two speed crates. Eagles come in. Oh, they get the MCV. Oh. Oh, oh god that's huge Get huge now now luke only needs to camp you know quas is limited to two war factory production luke can keep building war factories oh. and defenses and quas won't be able to push this yeah wow gi is moving into position to defend here quas oh Quas's does quas have enough to win this engagement i don't think so prism comes up as well perfect prism oh tower. my god luke with the fodder here wow. quas with way better tank control but ultimately does not have the numbers here i don't think oh my god he's sure making it interesting though oh my god oh, no way it's very very close no. very very close use the eagles but prism he should sends, be enough he sends the eagles downfield he could use the Eagles defensively. He gets very aggressive here. He goes for the oil. That does not get the War Factory, though. He wanted the War Factory as well, but he did get the power plant. Quas possibly low power right now, but Luke does pull ahead the engagement. Oh, my God. Wow. What? What are we wow. saying? Dude, I... I, what? Uh, Snart, I'll tell you what. I After the first two points, I would have bet any amount of money that, that Luke was going to get 3 0 I mean... Quas was Quas was in here playing chess. Luke looked like he was playing Candyland the first two points. And Luke, you don't doubt the Jedi. He pulls he pulls two out, puts us two two now, and we have ourselves a barn burner, boys. Quas wanted allied. Wow, that's <laughs> crazy. But Quas lost this matchup, Ivor. Quas he lost this matchup. Ivor Sov. He must have something up his sleeve. Never doubt the never doubt the death robot. Quick reminder, guys, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, enjoying the content, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it's free for you. Helps me immensely. You drop a comment. You let me know where you're enjoying the content. The content from helps the algorithm. Makes YouTube show this video to more people. We get RA to the moon. That's what it's all about. So here we go. The match point here. Um, both players choosing their own factions, and Quas, one of the strongest strongest traditional Soviet players in the world choosing to go allied here and Luke going Soviet. Luke, an allied dominant player going Soviet. Um, I, I I don't know. I don't know what to think about this one. Can Luke carry the momentum? Snark, where are you putting your money? I don't know, man, but what a barn burner. This <laughs> is crazy. Luke, I mean, he's been, he did a great job with the Soviet last game. Quas was doing fantastic defending, but he didn't have enough defenses down the center. Quas must be coming in with a plan here, right? Either that, or he just faced Luke's ally, and he's like, I am not going Soviet facing his ally. No way. I Luke coming it. in here up top, going right into the pillbox and the tent. They're not exactly a move. He's going to uh, he's gonna get his rhinos a little bit low health, and the GI is down in the bottom there. Luke already building at a position so that he could build pillboxes. See a sentry gun to defend. All the GIs deploy. Both sentry guns are going to go down. Is it going to beat up the dogs? Go down. Coming in to crush here, but Quas was already there, oh. and he loses rhinos there for free. Quas is a beautiful jump from Quas. Good use of those of those of those uh, GIs, and now Quas with a fodder advantage. Quas gonna get this power point plant. Luke can't even really contest it. Gonna try to get a few few free shots. Oh, he is able to hold here. Desolator now coming to the front lines, and these GIs are not gonna get much value now. We'll see if Quas gets a sniper behind this. He does have his AFC out. Oh, so now yeah, the Desolator, the Sentry. The Desolator, the Desolator and the Sentry to hold that middle zone uh, from Luke. Yeah, I like that. Trying to lock things up there so you can force Quas into the open field where his Rhinos have more of an advantage. Another Desolator as well. And Quas, both players spending a lot of money right now. Oh, but Quas is going to lose his power plant. That's not what he wants Quas. on a Desolator. Oh, zoning out that infantry. Really, really nice. Quas now going to bounce to the top side. Luke needs to be careful. Luke could get caught with his pants down right now. Quas could be baiting. Quas could go downfield and grab an MCV, but doesn't now Luke too far in his zone. Uh, can't risk it. Grizzly's coming in to defend. Uh, good use. Now is the sniper IV. Yeah, GGI's forced out to defend. Quas was low power. I think he's still low power, right? He only has one power plant. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, now, now he gets a second power plant. So Quas fell way behind on production there. He has, the, the GGIs are completely out of position here. Luke is going to try to send it downfield here. There is a sniper rifle to take out Fodder. That's a huge oh. advantage for Quas here. But is it going to be enough? The Eagles coming in, taking out a Rhino. Is it enough is the question here. Everyone is asking. Oh, oh he does Luke, defend. He does defend. Luke backs out. And you know Luke. I mean, we've talked about this before. And Luke knows it more than anyone, right? Because he, he's in here toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys who are the best players in the world. And, uh, and for Luke, he knows right Right now, there's a window of opportunity. When the Eagles start flying, when he goes double AFC, when the battle lab comes, every second on this clock goes more in Quas's favor. It goes more in the allied favor. And Luke, as you see him chomping at the bit right now, he wants to get value. He, oh, gets hit by a little bit of lightning there. Eagles coming in now, flat cans to defend, no flat tracks on the field, grabs an oil, grabs a power plant, pays a few Eagles for it. Uh, Quas, plenty of money, happy with that exchange. Yeah, and now the prism towers start coming out here to defend Luke on four war factories though, so his tank production is massive. Does Quas have enough to defend here? So far he definitely does. Question is, will he keep up with Luke's round of production oh, as Luke comes down the bottom here? Is that a good move? Did he really want to do that? Oh, and now his and his rhinos get split on that water. If he goes left, if he goes oh. right, they're going to get split up. Now they're in a line. The grizzlies clean him up. That prism tower was perfect from Quas, but Luke keeping the pressure on. At the end of the day, he's still the one with the rhinos right now with no battle lab tech. Quas is forced to play defensive, does not want to meet him in the empty in the open field, wants to use his infantry and his towers. Eagles coming in now. Ooh, those eagles. Two war factories and an oil. Huge hit. Oh, that's Whoa. what Quas needed to get back in this cyber. Oh my God, absolutely devastating. And that's, um, and you know, that's it. That's that's Blitz for you. If you build your base in a nutshell, yes, it's easier to defend, but a good opponent will kick you in the nuts for it and make you pay. And uh, what was that? Two war factories and oil? Two war factories? Yeah, fa two war factories and an oil. Damn. A absolutely devastating. And now Quas with these eagles in the sky, uh, Luke's going to have a very hard time pushing tech. And without tech, oh, without tech... Well, Quas still not going Battle Lab. Quas on 10k. Quas needs to go Battle Lab. Quas is going to be able to hold this attack. Luke pushing. I, I, it's Again, it's that feeling of like, I have to, even though I don't think he should. Um, oh, a lot of smoking grizzlies here, though. Yeah, a prism comes up, but it's not going to be enough, he needs is to get it? Away, needs to get away from that prism. Needs to find this zone right here. Get away from... Oh, dives on the oh, prism now. Luke has to keep nice. the pressure on right now. This Luke is, is back in this. This is his chance. Quas on 10k. When the battle lap comes, this game's going to be over for Luke. I love this aggression right now. Clicking down these tanks. Grabs the machine shop. Now start picking targets. Grabbing buildings. Trying to get an elite, maybe. The eagle staying busy downfield. I love that Quas is keeping an eye on his offense. But he is going to have to deal with these rhinos. Getting a lot of value here on the top side. And a few vets about to go elite as the GIs come in to defend. Yeah, what a fantastic attack there out of Luke, getting great value. Is it going to be enough, though? Quas is sort of cornered here, but the infantry are moving into position to defend, like you said. And look at all this infantry cut. Yeah, no. Just, uh, yeah, retreat. <laughs> Do not want to face all this infantry. And the sniper IFE doing work. There's a lot of Dessels, though. Is there enough Dessels to push? They push. The IFE is still That's alive. The sniper's still alive. And now the Dessels retreat. Uh, where's, what, what's Luke building behind this, Ivor? Uh, oh, crazy like Ivans. For, comes back up. Crazy Ivans <laughs> are being built behind this. Oh, they weren't in the circle. There you go. That was the crazy Ivans down there in the bottom left. Um, yeah, Luke, I think Luke's falling a bit, bit behind on his macro, but the Eagles just keep chopping him off at the knees every time he tries to get a leg up. Desolators and Rhinos now pushing in behind. And what is up with Quas not going Battle Lab? What, what, what are we seeing here? He's on 12K. Does that make any sense to you, Snark? Absolutely not. We are getting some lag here. Ivor? Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, I can hear you. And then we're loading in. Okay, all right, so here we are redoing point number five. And the last point number five, same factions, uh, very close, very, very close game. Uh, Quas, well, I mean, Quas, I mean, Luke was pushing in. He was being really aggressive. Quas, really hard to say, ultimately. Could have, could have gone either way. But with that being said, we did get a disconnect. Quas was the one on the disconnect screen. If a player disconnects... Um, after the first 10 seconds, basically, they lose. There is no way around it. There is no argument. There's no who's ahead, who's not ahead. They lose. It's the only way to do it. The only person who can veto that is the other player. In this case, Luke the Jedi has said, okay, let's redo the point. Let's split the $10 prize and let's redo the point. So Luke, uh, nice guy. Quas, you know, both these guys, good sports in here. And that's what it's all about, especially when you're playing a 20-year-old 20, 20 game that's prone to bugs, prone to errors. So great to see these guys. Um, making my life a little bit easier and putting on a show for us. Here we go, redoing match number five. Snark, how are we feeling? Respect. Yeah, I mean, for, well, I, I just got this one time. Respect to Luke. You know, I love that. I love the sportsmanship. 
you know, I'm, I'm here, you know, yeah, I could, I could take the win and run away, but let's redo it. Let's give the people what they want. Let's give Snark what he wants and get this epic game rolling again. Luke coming in with super early aggression here. Does boss have what it takes to defend this power plant in the bottom? Here we go, but early AFC out. The GI is coming out to help defend the bottom position here. Yep. Is it going to be enough? Yep, the GI is the early AFC from Kwasu. He's going to get a sniper behind that AFC. I love that move. And yes, Legend, I think that'd be the best. Instead of them splitting the money, we'll give both the $10 to Legend. If he agrees to invest it in crypto, and if he goes up by more than 100 times, he'll give all the money to all of us. That's the deal. All right, so now the Rhino's coming in. Uh, Luke kind of, again, going to be try to be aggressive here. Wants to get, I mean, that's what you got to do as a Soviet player. You got to get it value out of your Rhinos early on. Nice defensive Eagles. Take out one Rhino. That can make a difference. Yeah, yeah, and a lot, a lot of fodder here. Luca threatening, threatening. Quas with two eagles out. Gonna help to take out a rhino or two, which will make all the difference in these fights. The eagles, nice. They take out a rhino, so that's gonna be enough for Quas to defend here for sure. In the bottom, the sentry guns are looking and staring at the GIs across the field there. Oh, 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 the split up takes, the split up takes. Quas oh. is gonna take advantage of this. That oh. is unfortunate. One rhino goes down. Oh, wow. on, yeah. only loses one, and he oh. has the machine shop, so the smoking won't make it out. If he keeps eating, oof, Quas just so deadly with those eagles chipping away at the rhinos makes a huge difference. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, he does not have the numbers to push. Your Luke cannot get any value, but he has two war factories. Quas on two war factories as well. Quas not a very uh, big advocate of the tech, is he? Yeah, Quas both. It's interesting, Quas pumping the war factories here. Uh, yeah, we saw that last game just refuse to go over to tech. Quas obviously more of a um, more of a Soviet player. He stays so busy with the Eagles, so it's interesting. Certain parts of the Allied arsenal he's so dialed in on. But yeah, the switch over to tech is one thing that's that bothers me a little bit in that last game. I think he was on 10k very late game and never made the switch. Um, yeah, just more comfortable with a batch of grizzlies and dogs, I guess. Yeah, and the Eagles, of course. The Eagles getting great value. Quas really knows how to use those Eagles fantastically. Pushing down the center here with a few GIs. All right, he's going to take control of the center. This is what you want to do. You want to keep the Soviet player at a distance, right? You don't want to let him be threatening, knocking at your front door constantly. Sniper yeah. IFVs out here to deal with the fodder. Ooh, lightning comes down. Here comes a sniper IFV. He's Snipe, taking yeah. out Luke's fodder. And that's that's actually people underestimate how important that is. A bit of an engagement here, GIs and Luke just ooh, losing so much value here in the center. Oh, nice. That tent getting so much value there. Yep, Luke's still in this, boys. He's still in this. Those GIs for Quas getting a lot of value as well. And Quas with the fodder advantage. The sniper IVs is huge cleaning out that fodder. Um Yeah, that's that's it's nice. It's a tough position early on, makes a big difference. Uh so now Patrick, so and Quas, interesting, he doesn't go now double AFC. So Quas just plays a very unorthodox ally, and it really speaks to um, how impressive his tank control is because he's able to do this, he's able to hang in with Soviet with just you know grizzlies grizzlies and gis and dogs you know he doesn't he's not spamming the eagles super early on he's not making the battle lab switch early uh it's very interesting just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the grizzlies um to, i mean but it really speaks to the what what top level tank control that looks like i guess spamming the sentry guns yeah. from luke trying to really dig into this position absolutely it is mad mad impressive what's going on here but luke four war factories teched up Quas coming in with eagles. Luke is going to have to counter these eagles perfectly or he's going to be in big, big trouble here. One oil there could get oh, so much value. Oh, and Quas with eagle maneuvering. He's coming in. He's coming in. He's oh. coming in. What is his target? He goes for the oil behind. Oh. He doesn't oh. get it. He's, he's going to ult it. He's, he's going to ult it. He's going to ult it. Oh, oh, but he's saved. I think the MCV, would that MCV have gone down if that oil went? Was it in range? Did you see? I think it was like one square away, right? I think it might have. Yeah, I think it might have. So, so he does get it. He does get that battle app, which is huge. So Luke didn't get out any of his tech units, and Luke way behind on tanks now. Well, or Luke did get a cure off. off. Yeah, the yeah, one cure off. Yeah, but, but he's oh, so what? behind on tanks now. But it's not gonna matter. Quas is just gonna push in here. It's not gonna be enough. This is insane. Quas is coming in with the grizzly power. Just smashing, and just wiping him out. Just smashing grizzlies through a Soviet player. I mean. It's one thing to say like, oh, Allied's OP because of the Eagles. Allied's OP because of this, because of that. You, no one ever says Allied's OP because of the Grizzlies. I mean, to see Quash just smashing head first into the Soviet player with Grizzlies is hilarious. And this Kirov, oh my God, this Kirov goes vet. The Kirov, oh my God, there's one, oh. only one IV. Oh. Quas. Quas oh. is low power. The Patriot missile isn't shooting. Oh. Where is IV? Where's IV? He's in big trouble. He needs to run with his MCV now, and he lost already two War Factors. He might lose another one here. GGIs. Oh my God. Elite oh, it goes elite. Kirov. It goes elite. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
It goes elite. <laughs> what? Now he's targeting the IFEs. The IFEs are gonna. <laughs> this one Kirov is gonna win, Luke, the game. What the hell? Another War Factory. Oh my god. Oh. So now the Desolator's pushing in, and now no snipers from Quas. Quas needs. Oh yeah. Uh, does he. Where are his snipers at right now? Well, the, there is one oh. sniper chilling up, oh, up he needs there next to the IFEs, but he needs to get him oh, in an IFE and control the elite IFE in the back of Luke's base. Oh, elite. Oh, he goes on quest oh, with that. Oh, oh not what? able to get anything done. So so that Deso push, oh, that Deso push a bit annoying there. Yeah, Quas is going to need to get a lot more snipers involved as the Desolator is pouring in now. And that game was over uh, prior to that Kirov or very close to. The Eagles split up, both grabbing targets, still getting value downfield with those Eagles. Very nice of Quas. Um, now the des those Desolators don't get in as the snipers come pouring out. Still low power because he took the Weatherstorm, Ivor. He's still low power. When did he take the Weatherstorm? I'm not even following what's going on I, here. Yeah, I, wait, when? <laughs> oh, he, oh, he must have just gotten it. The timer just looking... took it back. Oh, oh, Quas. Oh, yeah, I wasn't following the weather storm at all. Oh, my God. These players are everywhere all at once. We're just casting, Ivan. We're not able to keep up with what's going on here. And, and these Luke... guys are insane. And now Luke brings another cure off. Hey, it worked last time. Why not? The Grizzlies pushing in now. Can the. Oh, my again? God. And again, the Grizzlies pushing back the Rhinos. And now the Kirov, the Kirov wow. uncontested again. He's going to need to get a little anti-air on this. Certainly, uh, Quas is not going to allow himself to eat another Kirov as heavily as the last oh, one. Oh, that's only three IFEs, one Patriot. Ah, that Kirov is still going to get some value. Might get that AFC, we'll see. And now he's pushing, he's trying to get the IFEs. Luke moving the IFEs out of position, and now Quas is down to two IFEs and one Patriot. But the Grizzlies are going to push it again, and he outtakes him here so big time. That hit tent finally goes down. Look at all those little conscripts. That's the oh. amount of Grizzlies they killed. Holy oh. shit, Quas is gonna win oh. this fight. Quas heavily drone. Quas heavily oh. drone. He's, yeah, he, he stopped to try to evict the drones. He realized it's not gonna work. A V3 rocket just came out for a loop. Oh, the battle lab goes down. The lab goes down. And can he get, what yeah, else can yeah. he get? Maybe the power. He's gonna have to go on the war factory though. Luke's still gonna have another one left, but Quas is gonna be able to close this out, you'd he think. It. Look, <laughs> look at the elite, the elite, the elite conscripts doing work. Oh my god, Quas is gonna win this, but holy shit, what a crazy game. That was just phenomenal. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Grizzly's OP? <sighs> Grizzly's OP, Allied's OP, but for all the reasons we didn't know. Oh my god, so Quas does pull that one out. What an absolute banger, and a bonus point. And I love that we got the bonus point. I love that. I love that. Uh...